In this video, I am going to show you another fun way of working with alcohol inks. So my paper is already taped and this is a beginner video. All you need is a dryer, some inks. I have taken out Shilpi inks of three colors. Um, this is Periwinkle, Kona Coffee and Dawn Pink are the three shades that I'll be using and some alcohol. I'm not going to use any gold or metallic ink in this one, but of course you are free to use them. So this is the very, very beginner basic way of working with inks. And if you want to use gold along with this, then I would recommend that you dilute your gold along with some alcohol instead of using it straight from the bottle and then use that diluted gold so this is a you know very little bit of diluted gold with alcohol so when you use this the gold becomes free to move and it doesn't get stuck to the paper so that's why if you want to use gold use this diluted gold and alcohol solution in this technique actually it's not even a technique you might have figured it out yourself all you need to do is pour alcohol anywhere don't think it pour some inks you can even pour it all over the paper alcohol initial alcohol so i am using the pink and the brown shades and then just run your dryer over them any way you like no plan no uh, you know any thought going there just dry it and let the inks do their magic so i'm taking my dryer over on top of the inks and i am just drying them in the other video you will see that i dry only from the sides but in this one i am drying from the top and that creates some amazing lines and uneven effects that look really cool So the first part is dried and then you can keep adding more colors, more, you know, anything that you want. So I'm adding some more alcohol over here, touching the part that I've already done. This time maybe I'll add some purple. I've not even thought of where I will put which color. I'm just going with the whatever I feel like. It is art therapy. <laughs> As you can see, just let the inks do their magic, move them around from the top like this. In the other video, I will show you that how to move it from the sides. But right now, I am drying it from the top and that creates different kinds of textures and lines. I'm sure many of you might have already tried this because I think this is the first thing anybody working with alcohol inks and the dryer would do so but just in case if you haven't tried this technique do try it it's a lot of fun so at some places use more alcohol and less ink so that the effect is lighter and uh, looks different So my paper is already taped as you can see, adding some more purple, some brown and some pink. Just go crazy and do whatever you feel like. Don't think too much with this technique. The objective is to just let the inks do their magic and for you to learn the control of your dryer this will subconsciously tell you how to work with your dryer whenever you work by taping your paper always remember to 
choose a flat surface where there are no you know inclines otherwise all your ink will flow to one side so you want one that would be harder to control i just let the ink run uh, ink run out of the paper so i will grab that at some places let's say over here don't add any more ink just some alcohol and then dry it and you will see what happens it will become lighter and faded experiment with different directions of drying maybe over here you can reactivate any part by adding more alcohol just add more alcohol and no color no extra color and then just dry it that will create some nice fades all you need to do is practice to take the alcohol and ink solution in whichever direction you want it to go so that's the only thing that you need to practice while doing this Wherever you want any light fades and all, just put some alcohol and take it inside towards the darker part with your dryer. See, just like I'm doing, I'm blowing the ink inside from the lighter side towards the darker part. i like how it looks maybe i'll just reactivate this part and make it slightly lighter you can reactivate any absolutely any part you want add any color that you want if the ink gets stuck you can just scrub on it a little bit My dryer is very close to the paper almost 1 inch higher from the paper So just like this I think I am happy with how it looks and I'll just maybe do one more over here
just remember that each time you make that will create a section so that's the only thing that happens so try to create sections that uh, you know match and blend break this one over here when you're doing with gold do it instead of using alcohol use the gold solution So now I think I'm happy with the way it looks and I'll do my favorite thing once again. I'll just spray on it a little bit. And that's it. I'm going to remove the tape. Heat the tape before you remove it. Last time I did it without heating the tape and the paper kind of ripped off. So who doesn't love clean edges, right? <laughs> I think it's the best part of moving the edges. looks cool right very very basic and simple way of working with the inks and you don't have to plan anything just go with your instincts and enjoy the process really liking how it looks thank you see you in the next video bye bye